I cannot even remember the last time we did one of these videos. It's refilling our activity kits. This one is super old, maybe from January, February. I don't even know, but we do need to refill it. So that's what we're gonna do in today's video. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet. Making these kits are really, really great for me because I can pull out things from the closet that they have forgotten about, put new things in here that I might have picked up at the dollar section, and it will feel fresh and new and they will come and use them again. So in today's video, we're gonna refill all of the items in here and put some new things in them so they can be inspired to play. I know you're gonna remember this. When I spoiled myself, One Rose Forever contacted me, asked if they can send me some free flowers. Well, they emailed me again and said, because Mother's Day is coming up, would you like some more? So I said, yes. Here's the one they sent in January and it is still looking like it did on day one. And because Mother's Day is coming up, this one is going to my mom. This time we got the square box, still black velvet, and then this time blue. These roses are so cool because they last up to a year in the same condition as when you got them. They are having a sale on their website right now, so go check out the link down below if you are interested in some Rose Forever roses. Let's get back to the video. So we always take out and let fall out all the things from the last box. Give me a second here. Okay, so there was more in this box, but we have since taken them out, moved them, used them, done the activities that were in there. So I can't really remember what was in that box. So we'll put up the last video in the corner so you can go and see what was exactly in there. But I usually tell you whether or not we played with them or th the items were used. So first up, we have the Outlast game. I think this was in this box two times and it was from Lakeshore Learning and I got it because I wanted to work on some reading comprehension. This is level two so it's for grades four to five. There's versions for lower grades too where you play a board game and then you have all of these reading questions and things to answer as you get through the board game. This was actually really effective and it was kind of learning in disguise which is why I got it and it actually worked. Because we've played it I think we're going to need a break from it and then come back to it later. I'm going to hold on to it because my um, kids are fourth and fifth grade right now. My fourth grader could probably still use it and be entertained by it before I hand this over to one of my favorite teachers. So we had the building games. I try to put something sensorial in here. So this is basically poppets that you have to balance and put together on this balance beam. This was played with maybe once or twice. I always, you guys, for these videos, I put the links to where I got everything in the description box. So if there's something that catches your eye and you want to link directly to it, then check there. This one's cool because it's for multiple players and you can use them in different ways. Boggle, this is definitely a favorite. We are also fans of Big Boggle. This is great for spelling and vocabulary where you shake it up and you make as long of words as you possibly can. And then we had two logic games, IQ Love and IQ Digits. You guys loved IQ Love. <laughs> and I know this because everyone was asking for links to it and it was sold out around Christmas time. They had sent it to me for review. It was in my holiday gift guide. It's so fun. It's so pretty too. Basically you have challenge puzzles. So you set up the board according to the puzzle in the book, and then you try to fit the remaining pieces in. I was playing this nonstop in December during the holidays. I think I got almost to the very end of the first challenge because there's a second part. I didn't know this at the time, but you can play the second game on the back, which is with the rectangle. So, so we like that. I'll have to check to see if that's in stock now probably is. And then IQ digits, which is the same concept where you set up the puzzles from the puzzle book and you try to fit the remaining pieces in, except this one has number pieces. So the same thing, just with number pieces. Great travel games, restaurant activity kits. Can't say enough about it. Looking to see if there's a game board on the back, but there's not. <laughs> Love these games. These are fabulous. Now that we have an empty box, we need to fill it up. The first thing is Mystery Mosaic. This is from Mindware, and this was a Christmas present given to my 11-year-old. Um, this is book one. There's a lot of different books that you can get. We have two of them. But basically, you have a blank grid of numbers, and these numbers correspond to a color over here in the margin. And you can pull these out, too. They're all perforated, which is really cool. And you don't know what the picture is until you color it in. So it's like a color by number 
number, but for an older child. In the back are the solutions. So if you want to cheat and see, you can see what they are in the back. So kind of fun in a really good way. You could use um, colored pencils. You could use markers. I'm actually going to put in this marker set that she got for Christmas too from her big sister. These are double-ended watercolor brush pins. She's got a brush tip and then a finer point on the other end. So she could use that with that if she wanted to. But I pulled these out of our art closet because I don't think she's really experimented with them or played with them a lot. And they're a really nice set of pins and some really pretty colors too. So we're gonna include that in there. Here is a set of boomerangs that came in my nine-year-old's Easter basket. These are seen at Hobby Lobby, but I'm gonna find a link on Amazon to something similar. The set came with four different types of boomerangs and she's been kind of experimenting. Had some frustration with it, but she just needs practice on how to use them. This was in my Hobby Lobby summer video, I believe with all the summer toys. If you need some good ideas for summer toys, you need to look at that video because they had a lot of inspiration and ideas. So up in the corner here, I'm gonna put that video. I'm not sure if these were in it or if this was in my Easter shop with me video, but either way, you're gonna get some really good ideas. So watch that video up there. I'll put a link for something similar on Amazon for these too, but just a really simple get outside, get outdoors, challenging thing kind of to do to see if you can get the boomerang to come back to you. So, you know, you got your traditional boomerang style and then all these other different ones. And it's just kind of fun to experiment with. Also from the Hobby Lobby video, this was definitely in my Easter one because this is a spring item at Dollar or at uh, Hobby Lobby. And I like to put something artsy in these kits too for them to do. This one, as you can see, is open and has been started. And this one hasn't been started yet. These are punch needle kits. I like that they're smaller. My 11 year old, the rainbow one is hers. She loves the punch art kits and she has some larger ones. This was in her Easter basket. And then my nine year old, I wasn't sure if she was gonna like it. So she's actually started it and then kind of abandoned it, which makes me think she doesn't know what to do next. <laughs> so she started in making the little sunglasses on the dog here and she just needs to go back to it and finish it. Punch art's a lot of fun, a really good fine motor exercise, especially for the older kids. I talked about fine motor. I actually have a playlist of videos for fine motor for older kids, meaning like ages six and above up to 10, 11, 12. I'll try to find that and put that in the corner too. Lots of other videos for you guys to see, but it's a really good fine motor activity that it doesn't feel too young for them. Because she's already opened this one, I'm going to put her materials in a little Ziploc bag for her so they don't get lost. These kits come with the yarn and all the different colors that you'll need to complete the picture. And they come, you won't be able to see it, but there is a maybe you can see it, a needle to help thread it. You have your punch, which I would have to say isn't the best punch, needle punch that I've seen, but it works if you're gonna try this out to see if you like it. If she likes it, then we can get other ones and pay more money for the bigger punches. And you get the little loom and the fabric with the printed picture on it to do your punch needle work. There are instructions on the back if you happen to get these. Like I said, this is from the spring line, so look to see if they have any in the summer line or even look back in the punch art section at Hobby Lobby. They have tons of these on Amazon. I'm gonna link a few down below for you to check out if you'd prefer to find some on Amazon. Okay, we're getting kind of full. My rule is it has to fit in here in order for it to, to go in. If it doesn't fit, we usually don't include it. So we got a couple more things to add. These two books I got recently, I was just really inspired. I saw these on someone else's post maybe like two years ago and I've had them in my Amazon cart for a long time and something just said to get them. So I did get them. They're money books and these are for I think ages eight and up. Does it even say on this book? Not sure on this one. It did say on Amazon. I know this one is eight and up because it says it right there. So the first one is the kids money book, earning, saving, spending, investing, and donating. This talks about money and money management and it's in a really cute and fun way about saving, investing, and, and doing all the things right with your money. Great age to start talking about this because they really can understand those concepts. Right about that preteen age, you know, when they're going to probably start thinking about maybe working when they turn 16 or maybe babysitting. I'm going to be looking through it. I haven't looked through it all the way yet. And then this one is investing for kids, how to save, invest, and grow money. So a little expansion on that. I got this one because my husband is really into investing. And so I thought he'd be pretty tickled to work through this one with them and to answer questions, maybe learn something himself. But it basically talks about the basics of money investment. Definitely going to link these down below because I know you guys are going to ask questions about them, but just kind of a really interesting take. Skillmatics had sent me some more Guess in 10 games. We actually already have this one, the Guess in 10 States of America. This one was part of my geography video. Another really good one to watch up there in the corner. This one is really 
great way to learn about the states because it has a really good format for the game. So this one, um, States of America, ages 8 to 99. They also sent me Guess in 10 Animal Planet, ages 6 and up, and Guess in 10 Countries of the World ages eight and up. These are also great family games. Easy to play. There's a deck of cards inside and your job is to basically guess, in this case, which animal you're talking about based upon the clues. And you can play in teams too. This is also a really good car game to play in the car. The clues for cow are I cannot see the colors red and green. Number two is I chew my food up for eight hours a day. And three, I have udders that produce milk. And you're supposed to guess the animal. There's extra clues on here too that they're large, they're mammals in their herd and then they have some facts in on the side to give some extra bonus clues and you have 10 guesses to guess this animal by asking 10 yes or no questions. Skillmatics did send me a coupon code for these so these are great to stock up on. Excellent classroom games too that you can use on rainy days or to use to help supplement a particular subject. Really great topics. I love the United States one. For my purposes I think I'm going to put the animal in one because they kind of already done the United States one and I'm going to save this one for well, maybe I'll do this one. Should I do animals or countries? I want to do animals. <laughs> I want to be something a little bit on the easier side for them. And I think they'd enjoy that more. So we're going to put the animals in here. Coupon code down below for those Skillmatics games. Next up is this book. And this one is was given to my 11-year-old for Christmas. It's 365 Days of Drawing, which she likes. I think this whole book series is really, really cool. In fact, I think I need one for myself. They come in drawing and they come in painting and creativity and it's a really fun interactive book so here's a page that you track the activities you've done here's a page of materials that you could use and then on every single day they're numbered one and two all the way to 365 it gives you a prompt to do an activity and it's to help exercise your artistic ability so this one says, fill the vase with flowers. You could cut out petals out of colored paper or experiment with different materials. So you complete the picture on this one. See this one, draw the face of the cat and you have all these different cat faces and you can draw the different faces on there. So they're really simple and quick activities to do. This one says, add stripes or patterns to all the ribbons of color on the page. This one is practicing some calligraphy shapes, fill in the different patterns. So there's just a whole bunch of different problems you don't have to do them day by day. You could skip around. You can come back to some. You can find one that intrigues you. And so I thought this would be really good to put in here because my daughter, I think, has been overwhelmed with it. It's been under her bed with her other books and she's forgotten about it. So we're going to put this in here and she could also use it with that set of markers. Use those together. I do like to include a game that they can play together. And this one has been forgotten about. It's called Taco Cat Goat Cheese Pizza. Really funny, make you laugh kind of game. You divide the cards amongst your players and each card has a different action and you always have to go in the order of taco cat goat cheese pizza so i've set up a little mock demonstration here and the first person would turn over a card and say taco second person would say cat and the third person would say goat but this is a specialized card the groundhog so you're supposed to knock on the table with both hands so everybody has to do that which is the action assigned to this card and then they have to slap if you're the last to slap the pile you have to take all of those cards so basically you win the game when the player has no remaining cards and is the first to correctly slap and then you repeat again in the same order so you'd go taco cat groundhog and then they do the action for the groundhog so it gets really silly and really funny it's fast paced and fun and it's it's just hilarious. The girls always laugh when we play this game, and so I highly recommend trying it out. I wanted to include something from my Knowledge Crate. Knowledge Crate sent me their school age crate for Earth Day, and it's got all these great activities in here, and I wanted to pull out one of the activities to put inside the activity kit I do. So this little guidebook walks you through all the different activities that are in here, and so I thought I would go through and see which one might be of interest to them. 
them. And I'm thinking maybe the ocean spill activity. So what's really great is they actually walk you through everything you need and they also include all the materials in here. So what I'm gonna do is pull out the materials that would be included. They sent me this crate for free to check out and to show you guys and I did so over on Instagram, but I wanted to also include the coupon code here. I have an affiliate link down below. So I'm gonna pull out the materials we need. We need the ocean spill kit. See how nice this is? They include everything that you need. Here's the ocean spill kit. So we need that. We need the mini boat which is also included. Marine animals says on the list. Here are the marine animals. Water, a cereal bowl or small bowl, towel or paper towels, and then a baking dish, which we will have to provide from our supply. So they're gonna be able to create their own ocean water spill demonstration. And then it walks through all the different types of activities to do with that, plus extension activities. And then there's some oil spill facts here. This kit comes with so many other different activities and all the materials to do them. This is definitely worth a look at. I'm not going to go through the whole box because there's just so much. Trust me on this. Go to their website, see what they're all about, and you're going to be super, super impressed. They have subscription boxes. They also have seasonal crates, and they are all excellent. So I pulled that activity out for them to do, and I have the materials here. So we'll just add them in. And then I know I need the guidebook, so I'll put that in there too. And there we have this month's activity kit. Since these activity boxes and kits are pretty much interchangeable, I'm gonna put another one up here on the screen for you to watch next. I will see you over there. Make sure to click subscribe and to give me a thumbs up to show your love.